Hello, come on in. Welcome to the studio. Finally, we're ready to do a studio tour. But before you do come in, this is an Asian household, so I'm gonna need you to take off your shoes before you come in. Got very cool socks though, so yeah. Take off those shoes, come on in, and let's show you a grand tour of this micro studio apartment in London. As you walk in, you can pretty much see the whole entire flat in one glance. Now, this is a very tiny studio. I believe it's a micro studio, and it is 234 square feet, which is about 22 meters squared. If you are new to this channel, hello, I'm Shu, and to give you a little bit of background, I recently moved into my own studio flat in central London, and I've never actually lived alone before, so this is going to document my new life here living alone in London and yeah it's all very exciting and because my name is Shu and I love puns I've actually coined this the da -da 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 -da. I mean you guys all know it the studio so welcome to the studio if you enjoyed this video so far then do consider subscribing for more London lifestyle videos like this about living alone in London and also eating around and exploring around London also travel videos and food videos as well and if you are enjoying this then please do give this video a big thumbs up to help support the channel and if you're already subscribed thank you so much and I love you and anyway without further ado let's get with the flat tour but first of all would you like to have the tea get some green tea okay so I've just made your green tea um, but I'll leave it here as well this is a brand new mug from Sainsbury's, a BFG mug. But welcome to the kitchen area. I thought I would start you off here. Now this is actually a kitchenette, so there is no oven, there's only two hobs, and it's a very limited area. But you know, it's mostly just gonna be me and probably like one other guest, so it's enough. And also, disclaimer quickly, so I know that I said I'm gonna be living alone, but that's not strictly true. Um, some of you already know who I'm gonna be already living with, but um, yeah, the air fryer, of course, made it here it's been a journey you know we met in may and it's just been such a whirlwind romance and yeah i guess the time has come for us to move in together we have an espresso that actually came with the flat and also a russell hobbs uh what do you call it <laughs> i've lost the word uh kettle we've got my new knives actually that i've uh, not opened up yet hello fancy new knives i have five of them also i'm not properly stocked up on my fridge yet because i've only lived here for a week and well for four of those uh, nights i've been away on a work trip so i've not had time to properly stock up my kitchen so bear that in mind okay so here i have knives already spices soy sauce you know vinegar noodles and here because i know i probably will be cooking a lot of air fried food and noodles and dumplings for you and me i've also got some gaviscon as well just in case there's any indigestion and then up top we have coasters a uh, selection of teas a water bottle and shim ramyun because sometimes when you're watching k-drama and the character's watching shim ramyun i'm like dang it this one microwave i've not used it i don't actually ever really use the microwave but the option is there here i have uh, a big pot which i thought i would wait oh, i can't actually get up there I need to get a chair when I do it hang on this is the really really big pot that I bought recently that came in a set of three but this is actually a non-stick coating very very high quality and then moving down to the second counter space we have some extra bowls not to my taste uh, I don't actually really like plain white homeware so I'm gonna gradually change that over the next few months a nice plate from Zara home and then just down there just miscellaneous like glasses coffee cups um, espresso cups wine glasses very important and then right up here I can't actually reach so this is where I put things that I don't actually use so extra pots and pans extra plates and as I said the fridge is currently very empty right now so it's actually oil of course it's my favorite one and then we've got some Clarence Court eggs free range and two pots of yogurt and some oat milk and then over here we have the cutlery drawers I bought this nice wooden set from Amazon because I don't want to use metal on the non-stick stuff I bought this little rice um, I don't know what the English name for it is called like a rice scooper fan hot from Disney Tokyo at the bottom here I've actually got more plates and things so in my moving in vlog I'm showing these plates from Zainsbury's which I absolutely love and then down here obviously we've got some standard Chinese uh, bowls I've got some noodle bowls some more plates and then here's my 
pink little pan. Dun, 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 dun. Because I love eggs, my friends bought me some egg cups from Morocco. This is actually just the bins and where many plastic bags lived and my cleaning equipment. When we swivel over to the right, this is kind of like the living area. So we have a little small coffee table and actually on top is the remote to the smart TV. On top of the coffee table, I have this book from Hong Kong Diner that I actually uh, received as a gift from Jeremy Pang himself when we filmed for the BBC documentary last year. And inside it says, Dear Xu, what a pleasure to work together. Happy walking. <laughs> and honestly, he is such a nice guy. He's got recipes for bows, hot pot, street sex and more. And I really recommend this cookbook. And it's just so special to be able to meet him, work with him. And he is just so lovely and just visually is brilliant. I have the armchair that comes with the flat already, but I put a blue little blanket that I bought from a boutique shop in East London. I think Hackney like years and years ago, Clapton. And then on the side over there, I've got my new home cards for my friends, Christy, Leah and Ed, a new house plant from my family, which they instilled a lot of trust in me to keep alive. So far, so good. And then, yeah, this is like a cute little table where I can eat my dinner, have two chairs um, and chill if I didn't want to sit on the bed or have guests round. So moving on to this part, I think this is a genius idea. So when you first come in through the door, there's actually an iron board hanging up. Now, I did say this in uh, my video before, but I am really bad at ironing. I just normally steam my clothing or just buy, buy clothing that requires a lot of ironing. But I had a genius idea that I'm like, I don't have a coat rack. Well, no longer because it actually has those pointy legs at the top. I'm going to use my ironing board as a coat rack and it honestly is perfect. Like, look at it. Perfect. As I mentioned, this is a smart TV. I'm currently watching Wally, so that's a really unflattering angle for Whaley, but she is great, one of my favorite creators to watch. But it's so good to be able to just watch YouTube straight from the TV. I normally like to get ready and just catch up on my subscriptions. This was a trick that Christy actually figured out, but this TV has a bracket so I can fully change it and turn it so it faces the bed so I can watch my films and YouTube videos from bed or I can swivel it around and watch it from the armchair which I think is so cool. We have a little red cabinet from Ikea and on the left hand side here is just basically right now my drinks corner uh, <laughs> featuring alcohol that I've been given as gifts from friends and family. Um, so yeah, I've got Japanese whiskey because I love myself some Japanese whiskey. I've got a bottle of red wine, some champagne from my friend Amy for the BBC screening gift, which I've kept because I haven't wanted to open it yet. And also recently just came back from um, White Valley and Forest of Dean and then I've got some White Valley gin that the distillery gifted which was really kind of them and then over here I've got some scallop shells that I filled with jewellery my everyday jewellery um, and then my non everyday jewellery I just store elsewhere and also some crystals which again were a gift from my friend Kim which I thought was really pretty to the right hand side I have a list of some of my books I've actually got a lot more books to have to move over but some of my more like everyday books, I guess. I've put it all here, along with my awards that I won last summer for best video vlog from Traverse, and my Yeti mic, which I used to film my voiceovers, um, hand sanitizer, because, yeah, you know. But I also realized I actually have a lot of books about women in business, which I absolutely love. I find it really empowering to read other people's experiences, you know, how they, are as successful as they are, the obstacles and challenges along the way, and I just think it's an amazing opportunity to learn from others that I look up to. I need to bring my Harry Potter books over here at some point as well as currently at my sister's, but yeah, I've got that and all of my Game of Thrones ones and my fantasy ones. Down right at the bottom, I've got all of my shoes. Um, I don't actually have that many shoes. I'm not a shoes person, I'm more of a, I was gonna say potatoes person. <laughs> I love potatoes. Um, I'm more of like a bags person, I guess. Moving over to this section, we have my bathroom and it is small, but I love this bathroom so much. So it is a marble effect bathroom. You've got a stand-up shower with two different shower heads. So we've got the waterfall rainfall shower, a little nook for all of my products. Because you're here, I even got out the fancy hand soap. Da -da -da. That's my... Uh friend Uma gifted for my housewarming which was super super generous um, from him and his fiance and I just cherish this so much not only because it's like a very fancy hand soap but because it's just such a beautiful like lovely gesture um, and so generous so yeah I've got this out because you're here but ordinarily I wouldn't have this out and I'll just switch to my like two pound Sainsbury's one. In this section here I just have all of my travel products so when I need to pack my travel bag because I do travel a lot and then also over here is actually 
actually um, how to work the underfloor heating, which I've never had before. In the winter time when it's cold in London, I'll be like, Ooh, my toes are warm. I'm just really excited to, to activate this, but I tried to and it's not really working so far, so I need to work out what to do with it. The grand finale, the bedroom. But before I get into it, I forgot to show you this, and this is also um, a new homeware piece from Leah and Christy. Love it, goes with the uh, my whole vibe, which is kind of like bohemian slash like Moroccan inspired slash kind of like Mediterranean look. And uh, I've got some bananas in it right now. <laughs> The bedroom, welcome, welcome. This is where the magic happens, and by that I mean a lot of editing, and this is where you'll see me working away, because I normally actually just like to edit from bed and just watch a video and stuff in the background, maybe Gilmore Girls, Gossip Girl, that kind of stuff. But yeah, it is, I don't think it's a double bed, you know, I think it's actually a queen size to king size bed. Right now I have a white set with a dusty pink set pillowcase from m and but I've actually got the matching pink duvet that I'm going to switch up. Up. This colour wall is actually the reason why I wanted to rent this apartment or flat and um, studio, studio, <laughs> because this is my favourite colour in the entire world and honestly every single time I look at this colour it's impossible to have a bad day. Every time I see this colour it just makes me so happy and I'm smiling just even thinking about it. If we move over to this side of the bed, so I've got this little fake plant, which again, Leah and Christy um, have bought for me for my house ornament, which is so kind of them because they knew that I probably can't keep an actual real plant alive. And a nice candle, which was a gift from my friend Karen. Also, I'm realizing as I'm describing all of the stuff that I have, my friends are so kind and generous and like, it's just so nice that even if I'm living alone, I feel like they're all here with me because they've just all been a part of this little studio and like little bits of them are all around the place. Here we've got a floor lamp and then at the top, just got a few perfumes, um, some more jewellery because I love my jewellery um, and then just more like everyday um, eye products, lip products and then miscellaneous tools and then on the first drawer of my cabinet I have my makeup bag and then some extra like eye palettes, I have my Game Boy Colour that I bought from Tokyo along with a few games and some more earrings. <laughs> Um, so I've got a Chibi Mariko Chan one, a Super Mario one, and then a Wario Land at the moment. It was extra special to buy it from Tokyo, and there's a vlog all about that if you want to watch. In the bottom drawer, I have all of my tech stuff. So I've got my headphones to edit from, extra hard drives, my GoPro equipment. Obviously, you've got my Kindle to read before bed. So technically, I have like three wardrobes, but also under bed storage and also extra pulley up drawers and things like that. And I don't. I don't need that much. The first one are just like loads of different um, drawers. So right now this is where my jeans, my trousers, my skirt all live, but also where my hair appliance lives as well. And actually the tripod that I'm filming this with. And then here, this is like a double wardrobe. So oh, let me just stay, stay. Great. So up top, I've just got some extra cushions and extra pillows. And then the middle one is completely blank right now. I'll just put my pajamas in there just because I could. And then here I just have my clothes. I have my clothes rail, clothes horse, an iron. Oh, and also on the side of my bed, I actually have this new galaxy light. I'll show you a video now of what it looks like, but it basically reflects the um, galaxy onto the ceiling, which I love because I love the stars, the moons. I love like celestial things. So um, I like to put this <laughs> like a child as a nightlight. So I will put a link in the description box if you'd like to see it. And I really highly recommend it if you love the stars and the moons like I do. And um, yeah, I think that is it. For obvious reasons, I can't disclose exactly where I live. I know quite a few people have asked, um, and I know it comes from a place of curiosity because you want to know exactly like the location versus the rent. But I can say that I do live in central London in zone one. But for me, this is a perfect amount of space to live from and to work from. And I see this as an investment into my work as well because I do work from home a lot, but I also need to be based in the central London for a lot of events, uh, for client work and things like that. Studio flats from London can range anything from £700 to £2,300. It just depends on which area you're looking in, what amenities you want, um, and the furnishings and how, it's, how it looks and things like that. I will discuss this in a future video as well on how I am able to reduce the rent because I do live alone. So when it comes to things like council tax bills, then there is a single occupancy discount of 25%. So that is dramatically reduced down for me and it makes a whole lot of difference when it comes to paying for bills and everything else. I will make a video all about this separately about 
the flat hunting process, um, the documents you need beforehand and just things that you need to know before you want to move to London. But I hope that helps. Um, I always think it can be an awkward subject discussing rent and things like that because obviously different people have different financial means and what is worth it to me may not be completely worth it to you. But hopefully that helps to answer some of your questions. So that is the end of my empty studio flat tour. I cannot wait to properly like decorate it and put some more personal touches over the coming months. Thank you for coming along with me. Thank you for being a part of this journey. If you did enjoy this video, then please do give this video a big thumbs up to help support the channel. And if you haven't already, then consider subscribing for more London lifestyle travel and food videos from me on this channel. It's been great to have you here. Thank you for also taking off your shoes earlier at the start. I hope you're well. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon or evening. And I shall see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.